All right. Day 19, we're getting back on the trail. We got a ride from Mama Sita over here from New York. We stayed with her for two days at uh, the Holistic Health Day Spa. And Lodge. And Lodge. It was amazing over there. I feel well rested. If she had some oxtail, I would have stayed there forever. <laughs> but it's time to get on the trail. Back in the mix. We're going to have to climb Mount Baden Powell over here later. Hopefully, we get to see LA from the other side if it's clear enough. We hit the summit of Mount Baden Powell, about 9,400 feet. This is where we came from earlier. And uh, on this side of the mountain is the south side. LA should be somewhere over there underneath the smog. Can't really see it. Uh, this is the rest of the Angeles National Forest. And after this whole section, we're going to be doing a ton of miles over there in the open desert again. End of day 20. We just watched the sunset over there. Uh, we still got to get to the bottom of the hill somewhere over there uh, where we could camp behind a firehouse. Uh, 31 miles today. Really weird day. We didn't even see anyone else there today. No other through hikers today. Mr. Solo Dolo today. Start of day 21. We got a big uphill. Next 16 miles has no water. It's okay though. Today, if we go 26 miles, we get to the Acton KOA campground. They got a jacuzzi. They probably have the Warriors game and they deliver food there. Really nice view of the clouds in the middle of the day. Uh, we're going down to a ranger station a couple miles where there's free hot dogs and soda apparently. We made it to the campground. We're watching the game. So this is the completion monument of when the PCT was first completed in 1993. It's almost 25 years to the day. We're leaving the Acton campground over there where we watched a Warriors game. We spent some time in the pool and the jacuzzi and we're getting a late start to the day. We're going to Agua Dulce today. It's only 10 miles. After that there's a huge fire so uh, I don't know what I'm going to do to bypass the fire. The fire was just a few days ago. It burned up a bunch of the trail. So I might take a shuttle. I might do a road walk. We will see. We're walking through a very creepy tunnel. We are at Hiker Heaven. So apparently there's no road alternate, no way to walk around the trail closure. So I popped into Hiker Heaven for about an hour. There was one spot left for the last shuttle out, seven o'clock shuttle out to the trail. Uh, the Softleys run Hiker Heaven and Donna Softly herself, who's an amazing person. Um, she drove us out herself. So we're back on trail and we're gonna do some night hiking tonight. We just won the championship. What's up? Warriors! Look at this, look at this. 500 miles. Cause I will walk 500 miles and I will walk 500 more just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door. <laughs> 500 miles is actually my favorite song. Uh, my dad bought it as a the first English cassette tape that we ever had when we bought a cassette player. And I was probably about four or five years old and he used to sing it to me. So I always loved that song, it's my favorite song. Really pretty colors over here. So the water's been pretty sketchy the last uh, 20 something miles. A lot of them are uh, just still pools of water, still tanks of water that have uh, dead animals or dead lizards in them. So I found the first water in 21 miles that was uh, actual flowing water. So it's good water. You could rely on it. It's not nothing too nasty about it. I was going down. I got one liter of water into it and then a bee stings me in the butt. That's how it is on the trail. Treacherous. Staying at a hiker town today. They built all this wild west stuff over here just for hikers to stay at in the middle of the desert. We were walking across this road and this rabbit runs across the road with this snake attached to it. Now the snake has a big chunk of rabbit in its mouth. Holla holla, someone left the cooler. We finessed the lemon iced tea, trail magic. Chilling for a midday break. We got some free couscous from Tremont.
his wife made it for him, dehydrated, so he gave it to me because he had a bunch of extra food. Caught up to him yesterday. Uh, legs is pretty tanned and pretty beat up, but feeling pretty good. Funny looking trees. We're walking through a wind farm. We're back in the mountains again. Actually, Big Bear, which was like 300 miles ago, is in the distance over there. Uh, we could have came all the way over here from there, but instead it went through the Angeles National Forest and a bunch of other mountains over here, up and down, up and down, before kicking out in the open desert and then doing a long, long aqueduct road walk uh, to where we are right now. So definitely does not take the most direct route. Day 26, we're going to hitchhike into Tehachapi in a little bit. Uh, they got an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet, so we're going to get on on that. Uh, they might have to cut me off, my own people. Hey, little guy. Really interesting hitch in a town. I waited about uh, 15 minutes. There was a, a couple of the hikers waiting too. And then uh, this hippie pulls up in a van and he's like, you guys want some ice cold water? Then he was like, uh, took us to town. He was doing spoken poetry and he was passing around a blunt. Not for me, I didn't partake. Don't get it twisted though. Bam. We're missing the parade in Oakland tomorrow, but we're gonna do a one-man parade on this street right over here. One last resupply for the desert. We're gonna enter the Sierra in about five and a half days. Uh, we still can only eat about 3,000 calories at a time, so this is about 18,000 in total. We're back on trail. The local bus company dropped us off at the trailhead for just uh, $3. Really warm day today, and it's a really rough stretch ahead. So we're using an umbrella. There's actually uh, four people a day in front of me. I haven't met them yet, but they're called the four umbrellas on the trail because they always use their umbrella. So hopefully I catch up to them and join their gang. Going to do some night hiking. I rolled into uh, where I thought it was going to camp uh, pretty tired and dehydrated. It was the first water source in a while. I was going to camp there and then uh, there was a bear there. So got to keep it moving as far away from there as possible. That's a lot of cows. Definitely gonna be really warm in this next stretch. Make sure to stay hydrated and take breaks. I'm down to one pair of socks. I bumped into uh, Jay from South Korea. He couldn't fit into his shoes anymore. Uh, even after sizing up a full size and taking out the insole. So his feet grew more than a size and a half on trail. And uh, it was really painful for him. So I gave away my uh, second pair of socks. It's a really thin liner sock, so um, he said it felt better for him, so I just told him to keep it. I got real curious about the temperature since it's so hot today. I turned off airplane mode, I put on my uh, iPhone weather app, and then the location it put me at right now is called Caliente. Midday siesta at the water source. We caught up to Tremon. Hi there. <laughs> he did catch up to me. Just 80 miles of desert more to go. Towards the end of the day, we came from somewhere over there this morning. All the way over here. Middle of day 30. We're hiking with Tremont again over here. Uh, we just passed Walker Pass. We thought there was going to be some trail magic over there. There was not. There was some water, but uh, we were a little disappointed. We walked across the road, and there's a whole... Uh, jar of tang so I tanked up my water so now I'm feeling real, real nice all right it's dinner time dish special recipe we got um, chicken ramen we got tang pour it in there that's called orange chicken on the trail this is Owens Peak over here overlooking the desert we got about 30 more miles of desert that means Kennedy Meadows, Sierra Nevada. Just hit the top of the last big climb before the Sierra. That's Southern California. And that up ahead is the Sierra Nevada, where we're headed tomorrow. Last day of the desert, me and Tremont are night hiking. We heard that there's a special Sunday blueberry pancake breakfast at Kennedy Meadows. We're trying to make it there in the morning. 
chilly morning on uh, June 17th, 32nd day. This is the last day of Southern California. We're entering the Sierra in 10 miles where we're gonna get some uh, pancakes and burgers and some beer, grab our Sierra gear and get ready for the next stretch. Super excited. I've been working with Tremont the last three days. We covered 81 miles in three days. So um, it's a personal record and a record for him as well. Here we go, no more desert. Bye, Felicia. Grabbed our bear canister, six days of food. We got new shoes, new socks. We are good to go. That's gonna wrap it up for the desert. Next part's gonna be Sierra. We're gonna break it up into two parts. Uh, we averaging 22 miles a day so far. It's looking pretty good. Body's feeling really good. Peace out, homies.